I'm Alex. And I'm Teddy. And I'm Spencer. And we are the Button Mappers. Hey, the Button Mappers. <laughs> All right, game talk. So the first question we got, we go chronologically here in terms of the first comment that came up. So this one comes from a certain channel called RPG Archive. Ew. Uh, they ask in turn-based fashion, what is the first game you want to beat in 2021 that isn't for the button mappers? I don't know why I added Terry's accent there, Ooh. but I did. That's a question. Um, the first game I want to beat? I don't know. It's enlightening. I think. I think what he's, <laughs> he's maybe he's referring to. I would know because I, I am him. Would be <laughs> like uh, what? What's a game that's like coming up next that isn't for the button mappers? That I know what to? you mean. I'm just thinking. <laughs> Spencer, damn it! <laughs> I mean, okay. So there's the obvious pick for me for for he who is you. This sounds like a persona statement. Um, <laughs> yeah. Dragon Quest 3, because we, me and he, have done Dragon <laughs> Quest 1 and 2 uh, for the channel. The stop channel. Saying, stop saying Spencer, just keep saying he. <laughs> and he. He who is RPG Archive. I'm Alex, I'm Teddy, and I'm he. <laughs> I'm he. I'm he. <laughs> I'm he. And, and he are. <laughs> RPG Archive. Can we change that in the intro? He's risen. I am oh, he. No. <laughs> <laughs> I am he and I am risen. <laughs> and I have commandments. And we are the button. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. I didn't mean to inter- interrupt you with a tangent of he. of he. I enjoyed it. It was worth okay. it. And, and um, it answered the age-old question. <laughs> Moving on. Bio Phoenix. Q. <laughs> this, is, this is a Phoenix rising from the ashes. That was really good. I wish Do I didn't again. interrupt you. Do it again. <laughs> Clip that, please. Clipped. <laughs> Consider it clipped. Q, since the 2000s, <laughs> is uh, 21 years old. Now, <laughs> what? What? Oh, since the 2000s, is now 21 years old. I got it. <laughs> now, uh <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> what, are, shudder, man. <laughs> what are some of your favorite games that came out in the year 2000 and that can now drink all around the world um i think the first devil may cry came out in 2000 i could be wrong about that i'm googling that i don't even remember oh man my, my bit old one i got majora's mask I'm sitting down with, with oh with shit. my boy Majara. I'm, I'm drinking gonna say a beer. Banjo Tooie for sure, though. That's a good pick. A lot of good games. 2000 for the Nintendo 60. Five. <laughs> you beat me to it. Yeah, four. <laughs> um, I will say. Um, looks cheating. like Final Fantasy IX came out that year. So oh, yeah? that's what I'll pick. Yep. Okay. Look at Spencer going with the PlayStation. But but little uh, shout out to Little Nicky, which also came out that year for the Game Boy Color. So, <laughs> like based on a movie, <laughs> you played that? <laughs> no, no. I just shout like, out to the list. shout out to the movie Little Nicky. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Game Boy Color adaptation of Little Nicky, and uh, I just want to make sure people know about that. By the way, shout out to my boy Adam from Little Nicky. <laughs> <laughs> He was Let's get Adam Sandler in, the, in our Discord. In the Game Boy. Do you, do you know what else came out in the year 2000? I could be wrong. All right, we got one last question here from a certain majority. Is it about consoles? It's not about consoles. It's about um, something far different, far more relevant. What are your top five Pokemon on Popsicles? <laughs> what? what you know popsicles like you go to the ice cream shop hi i want a sonic pop top five pokemon to put on a popsicle <laughs> yeah uh <laughs> uh i'm gonna say shelter whoa uh i want one of the unknown maybe like the the, the one that's like the y because it's unknown it, pop that, yeah that'd fit well on you know i, I can look at the eye um oddish 
I need two yeah. more. I need two more. That would fit, that'd fit really well on a popsicle. Um, ooh, that's, that's a tough one. I'm going to say Ditto. He'd, be, he'd make her a cute popsicle. Okay. And he'd be like bubblegum flavored. Um, might fall off the popsicle, but yeah. What? <laughs> you might slide off the popsicle, but anyways. Uh, oh, okay. I see what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, the last one, I'm going to have to go with Geodude. Geodude Pops. I feel like the only answer to this is Mr. Mime. Like, Mr. Mime <laughs> would make like, a legitimately great popsicle. I feel popsicle. like the only thing I should leave out in the hot sun is Mr. Mime. Because <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mime has, like, little colors, and he's actually, like, sort of humanoid, so it's kind of cool. And he's terrifying. He's t- yeah. That would be... I, I guess I could come up with four other ones but mr mime is the popsicle i would eat i guess okay. pikachu there you go Pika um pop. jigglypuff would be like a ball Ooh. um put it in your mouth and then uh i like psyduck so he would be there and <laughs> uh wasn't there an ice cream pokemon you can put him in there to be <laughs> wow. there was an ice cream pokemon. to be unironic is that it? Is that five? That, that's five. Okay, fine. Um, Meryl? Do you mean Poke Blue? Peek Blue? Blue, yeah. Peek Blue? Our, our boy. Our <laughs> lad. <laughs> AKA Sonic 2. Um, <laughs> uh, a Magmar? That's a weird one. Maybe a Magmar. Oh, but B. dude, he would be like bullet flavored, right? Like the bullet pop popsicle? Be a flaming hot pop. <laughs> Hot pop. Hot pop. Hot pop. Hot pop volcano. <laughs> Hot pop volcano. Voltorb. That's what I think when I think Voltorb. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe a Bulbasaur. Yeah, I love Bulbasaur. Bulba pop. Popasaur. Yeah. Um, One more. Okay. Um, Pidgey. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Cause fuck Pidgey. It tastes like chicken. Pidgey, this... well, like, Pidgey would be like a root beer float. Yeah. No, he tastes like a chicken. It tastes like chicken. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that's that's it. Come Uncooked get your Pidgey chicken. pops. It tastes like a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Come get your Pidgey pop before it flies away. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, kids. Come get your Pidgey pop. It tastes like a chicken. <laughs> Is that, that with the most miserable tone ever? Like, it's a good way to make kids hate ice cream. Come on, kids! I got your Pidgey Pops. <laughs> go kids, Pidgey Pops. Kids, come get your Pidgey Pops. It tastes kids. like a chicken. <laughs> kids, come to the dinner table. We have ice cream for dessert. Eat all the food on your plate. Eat all of your Pidgey Pop. Okay, you're not Dude, allowed to I'd go be, anywhere until you have your, would, all of your pigeon. Yo, pop. I would be pissed as a kid if like, <laughs> if, if, like I finished all my food. It was like, here's your dessert. And they hand me like a popsicle <laughs> shaped like an Oddish. And I took a lick of it. And it was like, it tastes like fucking Brussels sprouts. <laughs> 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 what is this bullshit? <laughs> but frozen. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. <laughs> cold Brussels sprout pop. Wow. <laughs> I think it Go beats Pidgey Pop. That's just <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> but there's kind of a thrill to that. <laughs> a thrill of what? <laughs> <laughs> a disgust factor. It tastes like a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. It tastes like chicken. It just had chicken. <laughs> Like you just you just <laughs> gave us chicken Alfredo. What am I having this chicken pop for? Ma? I like I like Ma. not even not even it tastes like chicken. It tastes like a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, chicken. <laughs> oh ma, the feathers. This is gross. <laughs> this is gross. It's literally just a bird. Why am I licking it? Duh. <laughs> Mom, the talons. I can't chew through the talons. <laughs> They're hurting my tongue. Too much beak. The beak now, honey, hurts. <laughs> I want you to chew on all of the talon. Honey, eat your, eat your chicken. <laughs> eat the chicken. 
<laughs> Honey, I worked very hard to put this on your table today. I had to catch this chicken, now eat it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get your dinner pop until you eat your chicken. <laughs> It's still moving, Ma. <laughs> I went into the woods today in our very own backyard and shot down five Pidgeys just to make Pidgey Pops for everyone. <laughs> and you're not going anywhere till you eat yours. <laughs> Maxwell. <laughs> Maxwell? <laughs> Maxwell. Maxwell. <laughs> Maxwell. <laughs> I could never have a kid named Maxwell. I would not take it seriously. <laughs> I'm already not taking it seriously. <laughs> he would be like a, a bodybuilder because yeah. he was a Maxwell. <laughs> or a coffee pot. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a brand coffee pot, isn't it? Or coffee, coffee pot, whatever. Coffee maker. <laughs> All right. Next up is one that you know better than me. Digimon. Digimon, digital monsters. Digimon are the champions. <laughs> Yo, um, okay, so I didn't grow up with Digimon. I have no experience outside of like what I've been experiencing recently. So I've only played a, a good, good little bit of the uh, Cyber Sleuth. And um, from what I, from what I'm gathering from that game, I'm just going off of that game um, and like a few episodes of the anime I've seen. Yo, Digimon's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Digimon is like Pokemon for like the cool kids, you know? Like, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Yo, fuck your Digimon. My my wolf's got rocket launchers. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if I've ever heard a worse phrase <laughs> than what you just said. I mean, am I wrong? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> On the next episode of The Button Mappers, Spencer catches a Caterpie. Oh! <laughs> that was Teddy. the sound that I would make when I caught a Caterpie. And Teddy finds uh, the lost piece of the magic Pokemon ball. Oh, I accidentally sold that in the Mart. How do I get that back? <laughs> Will our heroes make it? <laughs> 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 I want to be the very average like everybody ever is. Dun, 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 dun. To finish the game going. is not his quest. I'm just going for <laughs> eight matches. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I didn't beat the Elite Four. Let's get this out of the way. Dun, 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 dun. But I played 15 hours almost every day. Pokemon! Got to catch a little thing. Alex, Alex got, Kong. got eight, eight matches <laughs> for this map out. Yeah, yeah. Pokemon. <laughs> Alex Kong. Um, I caught a Ghastly, and I was talking to the Discord guys because they I clued them into the adventure as I was going along and let them know who I was naming what. And um, I said, who should I name Ghastly? And SNES Mapper said that he farts a lot after he eats Taco Bell. <laughs> so, so he's Gasly. So, so Gasly became SNES Mapper. Hey guys, who should I name after Gasly? I fart a lot after I ate Taco Bell. That seems appropriate. Yeah, okay. That's you, that, that response had a lot of spirit. <laughs> like Gasly, a good spirit. <laughs> Does it end you? Maybe it's a kaiju. <laughs> Yo, I got Godzilla on my t-shirt. Yeah. Our it's podcast good. listeners will be thrilled to know that uh, Alex has turned this part of the segment into a visual piece. And he's showing us a t-shirt that has Godzilla on it. No, it was it was just for those guys on the show. Not for the those guys listening. To the show. <laughs> 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 Join us on the Button Mappers Live to see Alex's t-shirt live. This one's got Godzilla on it. He is uh, he's stomping his way through the ocean. Um, nice Japanese artwork. Small aside to our listeners, we, we slowly try to help Alex understand what a podcast is 
so they can sort of piece together, you know, how to present a product to a listening audience. But so if, right now we're, we're watching, or we're actually we're listening to Alex explain well, his T-shirt. Yeah, but well, yeah, but have you never listened to like an audio book? Like they have to go into great detail on the like there are certain things. So yeah, yeah, the inefficiencies are clear. Yeah, go you ahead. have to use your, you know, you have to use your mind's eye. <laughs> 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 Terry, I'll leave it up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I can't wait to listen to this great map out on the areas in Pokemon of Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Wow, yeah. what's going to come up in the crudiest series? City. <laughs> my, my, my Godzilla t-shirt has Godzilla stomping his way through the ocean towards Tokyo. This is not what I signed up and for. The, I'm going to unsubscribe. And the top left corner... There's some kanji. I'm not sure what it says. Maybe you could tell me, Teddy. I don't know. Um, it's pretty cool. If 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 I imagine it, it would say like Godzilla or something. I don't know. Um, it's on fire right now. Spencer, yeah. help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the words of uh, of uh, it's Timber. Help. Timber, help. <laughs> <laughs> And this also had when you got once you got back, you you had to go into the into the ninja hideout, right? Do you know who else got back? Baby got back. Baby. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I think you're gonna say uh, some shady's back. Guess who's back? Back again. Baby Giovanni. Back. Giovanni's not. They'll make that very Tell clear. Tell his mom. Baby's back. Baby's back. Baby's back. Now I'm the real baby. Yes, I'm the real baby. I got my bail baby, my baby, baby, baby. baby. They want the real babies. Please shut up. <laughs> Please shut up. Please <laughs> shut up. Now I'm the real baby because I'm a real baby and I crap my pants because I'm a real baby. Please shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All you other real babies are just imitating. Can't be real because y'all are faking. Oh, and this one had uh, had people that you, you couldn't cross this one. Just right. a recommendation as far as podcasting platforms. Alex and I really like Pod Bucket. I've never heard <laughs> of Pod Bucket. It's a bucket full of podcasts. They're trolling you. Try it, one up. Oh, bit. good. <laughs> if I look up Bill Hill in the dictionary, you'll find my face. <laughs> if, if Alex ever says anything that confuses you, just assume he's trolling you. Yeah, just I'm assume. super I'm, easily yeah. confused. So <laughs> everything I'm saying is a lie, because it probably is. <laughs> Fair. I'll All take right. it. Speaking of Pokemon, I also am not a big red and blue fan anymore, because the management of the Pokemon kills me like when your box is full and you're like oh this is the only articuno in the game oh i gotta run away from it like the worst wait you fill up the boxes where you can't even put pokemon in them anymore well when i was a kid i was like oh look my seventh pikachu why not like, <laughs> i don't know you gotta, i gotta have seven of them because <laughs> well, what if one one dies and gets lonely so i made another one that's incredible to get Pichu. oh wait I've yeah, never was, heard anybody have that complaint before. <laughs> I got a lot of complaints about red and blue <laughs> that people will crap on me for, but you know what? I'm standing by my guns. Like I just, I think the remakes are great, but red and blue, I'm just like that existed and we had a great time, but let's move on. You know, I, I'm sure our, our, our viewer, Terry 309 would agree with you. Yeah. Someone's got to take a bold stance, you know, man. <laughs> everybody back to uh baby wary here on the butt mappers <laughs> that was uh something my... i never wanted to hear teddy that was my baby <laughs> sound please never do that well that was your baby sound yes Goo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> 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 um today here on the butt mappers uh we have me we have teddy we have spencer but we also have a um a guest a, a very close friend of mine say hello to montana Hi. <laughs> I'm Montana. <laughs> uh, 
Um, we figured since we're doing babyary and we're doing the the uh, the whole topic of the month is uh, females, um, we should bring a female on for at least like one episode. Just one. Just one. Just one. That's that's all we can afford. <laughs> <laughs> it's all it's in the budget. Um, so today we're talking about female characters in gaming. In the I guess like the the representation of uh, females in gaming. Mm -hmm. We're hoping to expand the audience to multiple genders. <laughs> <laughs> We're missing out on 50% of the population. We just did a study recently and determined that. Yeah, that's the real reason why we're doing this month. <laughs> it's a marketing ploy. Bring in the females. First up, Montana. Yeah. Welcome to the Butt Mackers. Yeah. <laughs> For everybody that can't, how come? That's my contribution to this damn podcast is I have to remind the audience that nobody can see what they're doing. I got a PlayStation shirt on, but I yeah. Just... Okay, let me describe the scene. So Teddy is showing us his Metroid shirt, and uh, right. Alex just showed up. I don't know. I'm wearing a Metroid shirt. <laughs> for everybody that can't how come that's my contribution to this damn podcast is i have to remind the audience that nobody can see what they're doing i got a playstation shirt on but I just... yeah okay let me describe the scene so teddy is showing us his metroid shirt and uh, right. alex just showed us his playstation shirt which yeah, is really I don't, cool. yeah, I don't, I, you I don't never know a... I you never know because shirt, so. you're just listening and you're you're <laughs> probably seeing some form of map or some kind of moving background, but uh, there are shirts being shown over here, so it's pretty cool. You can't show our shirts? I'm not recording your shirts. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I mean, it's okay. a separate recording, but... We'll, we'll set up a separate series for that. We'll call it a shirt out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just go through our closets. Dude, check out the shirt! <laughs> Maybe Terry wants to see that, Alex. <laughs> Welcome to my shirt collection video. <laughs> Counting my shirts. <laughs> I have 30 shirts. <laughs> I got more than that. <laughs> this one's a large, large. Oh, we have an extra large. I wear that I buy, sometimes. I buy way too many t-shirts. I have like way too many graphic tees. It's just like, that's my life. Medium for when I'm feeling edgy. Oh, another Reg large. Yeah. Speaking of Reggie, let's head on into Reggie's favorite game, Super Metroid. Is that true? Super Super Metroid. Um, the Space Colonies is empty, and you, you find your way down to a lone room, and suddenly um, Samus begins her quest with the dragon. It's Dragon Quest. <laughs> You find the uh, baby Metroid in a jar, and you're like, oh, there you are. And then yeah, Ridley is like, <laughs> and you're like, oh, yeah, hey, Ridley, what's up? I, th I thought I blew you to fucking pieces in the first game. How are you back? Ridley says no. <laughs> How are you here? <laughs> Should, they should really do a Chozo segment. <laughs> should Chozo? <laughs> the ancient Chozo so confirmed. The one that the one that attacks you is not a Chozo. It's, it's just, just Chozo armor, but it's just it's a it's a mini boss named Chorizo, which I thought was a cheese. <laughs> Chorizo. It's my favorite Taco Bell item. <laughs> it's Torizo. T T O R I Z O. Oh, oh, yeah, not gosh. not the, not <laughs> Chorizo. Chorizo. Not Chorizo. <laughs> Depends how you say it. <laughs> Torizo. Torizo. Okay. So it's so it's not actually a Chozo. <laughs> We've all been just, attacked by Chorizo before. It's still it's the Chozo, like the, the the Chozo armor, though. Gotcha. And ironically, you okay. need to attack it in the stomach, which is where I attack my Chorizo. <laughs> <In the stomach. laughs> where my Chorizo attacks me. Uh, it's a back and forth battle. Chorizo sausage. <laughs> sausage. Um, <laughs> I'm Alex from the Button Mappers, um, and welcome to Baby Wary. Baby Wary. This month we are celebrating the um, the babies of gaming. 
I'm talking about Baby Mario, Imagine Babies, just all of the babies. Um, it's going to be a great month. We have a community question for you. Our community question is, what is the... Can you give me a second? Hello? Hey Alex. Yeah, it's Spencer. Just wanted to remind you, next month is Babyuary. That's February, but uh, we're calling it Babyuary this year. We're talking about all things female in video games. We want to talk about female characters, um, female-focused games, all that great stuff. And uh, we do have a community discourse. And we're, we're asking the question, are women represented well in video games? So remember, when people are responding to this, it's got to be a yes or no. Uh, not, nothing in between. It has to be yes they are or no they're not. Uh, responses should be two to three minutes in length and they need to be in by February 15th um, to be counted in our little contest thing. So we're going to have that video out where we, we watch all the videos and everything. It's going to be great. Um, just want to make sure that you're aware of that. All right? Uh, Sp Spencer, hold on. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Spencer, Sp Spencer, you there? Spencer... This sucks. I've been listening to a lot of Destiny's Child. Um, I want to run that. your bath water <laughs> and polish <laughs> shoes. Cause it's Destiny's Child, and my man never lose. Is is that a song? Something like that. Cater to oh, you. Uh, I I just know the one that's like, I don't want no scrub. <laughs> that one. No. Do they do the one about the waterfalls too? Don't go chase it. Is it Destiny's Child? I don't know. Water. That might be TLC. That might be TLC. That yeah. I, I, yeah, I think that is TLC too. Alex. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I uh, okay. Don't I think Scrubs is TLC as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Destiny's Whatever. Child is like Beyonce. I'm more of a Salt and Pepper fan. Psh, ah, push it. <laughs> Speaking of respecting women, <laughs> I had to throw that one in there. Yeah. We look. Okay, I want to tell a story because I haven't actually talked about this on the podcast yet. I don't think. Um, when I had to prepare for that, I was like trying to come up with an idea for that pitch. That'd, that'd be funny. And I came up with the baby idea. And I was like, okay, cool. I'll just go to Walmart and buy some baby stuff. Yo, i never been in the baby aisle at a Walmart. It feels so fucking dirty being in the baby aisle at a Walmart <laughs> knowing knowing that I don't have a child. So it's like whenever somebody would like see me, I'm like trying not to make eye contact. I feel like I'm just there for like something, I'm like some weird fetish or something. I'm just. Like, oh my gosh! What if like one of your high school buddies sees you? <laughs> hey, hey Alex. Yeah, you got a kid? <laughs> I know you had a kid. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm like they're trying to like fit a fit a bib over my head to see if it'll it'll work. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is on some Mission Impossible business. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> It felt like I had some kind of dirty little secret buying that stuff, and it's so. It, I after I got done shooting that video, I tied it up in a bag and threw it in my closet <laughs> <laughs> well maybe we'll actually follow through next february with baby airy <laughs> in the meantime we're talking about the respect of women for yes um another great great addition from vg mashup i always love hearing that guy uh he also clearly stole my idea about Tomb Raider. So, you know, what's up with that, VG? If you want to put in the responses below why you stole my, almost word for word, my Laura Croft example, I'm calling you out, buddy. <laughs> Even though he went first? <laughs> no, so... from our from our talk, uh, from our video. Oh. But did this go first? I don't know. When, when did the other one release? We aired that video on the second Monday, and um, I don't have the date up because it went to the next response. I'm pretty sure he did, and uh, that's okay. Terry, Terry uploaded on oh, the February. Oh, hold on, hold on. 8th. I can tell you. Uh, so it was yeah, so it was the eighth. So when did PGs go up? 
When did VGs go up or our discourse? Yeah. When I don't know. Our discourse up? went up on the on the eighth. No, 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 no. So, so when did VGs response go up? Oh, I'm know. checking I'm now. Yeah. Oh, you know what? His went up on the sixth. So you better apologize, <sighs> Spencer. Take it back. <laughs> we have an accusation and an apology. Okay. VG, you have the right to attack. All right, VG. Look, we all make mistakes, okay? We know that you would have stolen my example. We know that. But in this particular instance, you are absolved. Um, yours technically technically came out before. So great response because it was just like mine. In the word of in the words of uh, Spencer's dad, you're getting ten across the ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like him. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like my dad. <laughs> Guys, we need respect for males. <laughs> Don't worry, Spencer will get his soon. Spoiler alert. <laughs> You'll get uh, yours. <laughs> We learned some things about him, if you want to talk about that. We find out. He's Gray Fox, which means absolutely nothing to most of, like, 90% of the people that played this game, I'm sure. <laughs> Including Gray myself. Fox. Robots <laughs> explain, have names, Do you mean, do you mean okay. explain a little bit about Gray Fox? Go ahead. You you be our lore Snake, expert. Snake killed him in the second game. That's all you need to know. Yeah. So how is he Earth. here? What <laughs> was he, how did he get here? I, wait, I got you. It's the nanobites. <laughs> it's the nanobites. <laughs> the nanobites. <laughs> that sounds like a Metal Gear Solid themed like snack. <laughs> Enjoy nanobites. Okay. <laughs> I hope there's no awkward tension. You know, we kind of stole Spencer away from you. Oh no! So, no. You know, it's like Keep it's them. like whenever you, you like take your girlfriend and like you meet like, like your ex or something, and it's like really awkward at first. Like, what? <laughs> well, if if he's your girlfriend, I'm sleeping with him every every Sunday. So. <laughs> Damn! <it. I'm>, surprise, <laughs> surprise! <laughs> I'm glad we can all get together at this conference call. And just <laughs> really hash things out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is an open relationship, right? Can I jump in? <laughs> no, you're HR. <laughs> Mondays? Okay. I have to keep my 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 image going. Uh, Sp- Spencer, you're you're a real slut, aren't you? <laughs> oh my god. Let's really clap it up am. for the slut. This is a whole month for him. <laughs> don't, don't you slut shame me. <laughs> uh, and today we're doing game talk, which of course we do this at the beginning of every month where we each no, I'm gonna have to. That's my alliance versus Nintendo. Fuck the Amico, though, man. They keep because I don't give a shit about the Amico, but they keep like I've been I've been like watching the progress on, on that thing, and it's like every uh, six months they're like, oh well, uh, we have it ready, we just uh, we can't release it yet, uh, uh, but I promise we have a full warehouse full of them, but uh, it's not ready, so it's just like this is a biggest fucking scam I've ever, I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you have things like the KFC console, I mean, there's really a lot to look forward to. You good, Bruno? I can't wait. I can't <laughs> wait for the KF3. <laughs> KF3. Yeah. <laughs> That's the real yeah. future console. I can't wait for the PS3. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm just dicking around. Just, just dicking around. Dicking around. Just Teddy's, Teddy's still on 2006. Yeah, he, he hasn't got the PS3 yet. I haven't arrived in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Expected. You just, you know, when you first meet him, you think of him as just a typical evil dingus wizard, and he ends up being so much more. <laughs> he's, he's he's misguided by the time you fight him he's mm-hmm. he's obviously doing the wrong thing and then um by the time you get to the uh uh the time period he's gone back he's become one of the mystics uh there and it was so obvious to tell us like man you can see those pixels <laughs> i know those boots <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh but it, it was it's he does have a cool story i still like um I, I like the fact that theirs is so in, in, uh, intertwined, mm-hmm. um, Frog with Magus, and the fact that they're they're pretty much without one would not exist without the sort of I guess Frog yeah Magus would have died to 
Lavos if he summoned him without you being there. So it makes sense, I guess. But whatever. Cool character. He's great. The first time I played this game, I didn't get Magus in the party because I didn't know how because I fought him. Mm -hmm. And I asked Spencer on my second playthrough this time, how do I get Magus? He's like, it's easy. Just don't fight him. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the coolest character of the game. I didn't get in my party because I fought him. Right. You felt some type of way about you striking him multiple times. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was the sword Literally. stabs that did that. <laughs> yeah. So I was happy to have him in the team. I've been uh, putting him as kind of like a main in the party um, in this playthrough. To some detriment, I think one of the uh, difficulties with him in the party is that he has no cross moves with any other character, at least as far as I have him at level like 43 or whatever. Um, he only has his own attacks, which are really good. Uh, he's, his dark magic is awesome. He has lightning, fire, and ice. And he has a magic defense booster that he can use individually on every character. He's also got this like black hole thing to to uh, send enemies into a portal and make them disappear off the screen. What I love about that is if you know, like in Pokemon or games like that, where you do one hit kills, it's like they work like ten percent of the time. This just works. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with him, so, you you really can important. get you can get triple text. They were but they're so dumb to use because it it takes up your item slot. You have to use gemstones, mm. and it'll un unlock triple text with people. But it's like I could either like increase his magical power by X amount or reduce his mana consumption, or I can yeah. get a triple tech that I'll use like occasionally. <laughs> and that is, in fact, the best way to use his uh, item slot. He actually comes with Shala's immunity, which prevents status ailments, and so that's super useful uh, mm -hmm. coming up. Explains uh, explains the lore reason. VG, uh, who do you think would win in a fight? The Duke boxing Duke. match. Spencer <laughs> or, or Duke Alex? Duke. Spencer or Duke Duke. <laughs> So can you guys uh, start that so I can kind of give you live my answer in live time, real time? Because I wouldn't, I don't know. Put yeah, them up, I boys. Think, okay. Spencer won. Yeah, Spencer won. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need an announcer because you got to announce the, the fighter. So then we got to... I was gonna ring. I think Alex has like a good six inches on me, so I, I think he could probably win. And I'm also taller. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking about like my my penis size. <laughs> now Alex pulls out the signature move: the cock slap. <laughs> Going Saint Tro, huh? That's interesting. <laughs> Spencer's put in the corner. He's forced to put up his guards. He does the cock block. But well, to to your <laughs> benefit, Spencer, I think you're more fit than I am. I'm I'm not one to turn down to Taco Bell. Mm. Because Taco Bell equals not fit. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yes, Mapper. <laughs> Taco Bell map out coming soon <laughs> during Mapper month. <laughs> That's what we should. We should. We should have a Bruno do the whole Taco Bell menu and then say, "You doing good, Bruno?" <laughs> 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 he probably won't. Will you join us for that one, VG? The community yeah. map out of Taco Bell? Yeah, I agree. That would be fun. Would that be a bell out? I think so. We should, we should you set could a probably Patreon see. for the Taco Bell map out. <laughs> we'll start saving now. I have like a Kickstarter. I have like horrible flashbacks of watching a YouTuber just like that was his channel was that he would go to taco bell and eat their food oh my goodness and i saw like two or three videos like is this really the only thing this channel is and i obviously stopped but it was like, so disgusting that he would just in front of the, the camera just like have the camera there and just eat yeah that's go. what i do in private is eat my taco bell <laughs> it's uh it's a little salty but uh i think the flavor <laughs> meshed well does he review the products? Because here's the thing about Taco Bell. I hate to tell you, it's the same five ingredients yeah. rearranged. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the same thing. That's like this a rule. Funny. This Mexican. reminds me of the number one gordita crunch. <laughs> I thought this was a taco. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of the rule of Mexican food. What makes it so great is that they're all like the same ingredients, just how you want to have them. Like you could put them in a taco or a burrito, or just like on top of a tostada. But it's it's beans, yeah. or cheese, and rice, and then one of the meats. Like, I fucking love quesadillas, but, like, <laughs> it's the same <laughs> thing. You're not lighting the world on fire. <laughs> yeah. Just the toilet. 
<laughs> Nacho fries. There you go. Different. There you go. <laughs> I guess the crunch wrap's kind of original, even though it's still the same shit all wrapped together. But dude, that used to be my jam. Me, me too. I love the crunch wrap, man. Whenever it came out, I was just like, "This is the greatest thing ever." <laughs> it's crunchy. that one took the world by storm. Did it? Crunch wrap supreme. Yeah, I knew about the crunch wrap. I, that was the only thing I would get from Taco Bell when I, you know. When I was with friend groups, I'd rather not associate with at this you know stage of my life. Um, <laughs> the, it, it always used to be, yo, let's go to Taco Bell and get the crunch wrap. Yeah, dude. Like, <laughs> Malta, Malta Master, are you here? Malta Master. Uh -huh. <laughs> let's get some Malta too. I, <laughs> I Malta use Malta as, as a persona for. Oh, okay friends in my stage of my life. Yeah. Anyways, the crunch wrap supreme. Yeah, the the beef, the chicken. To die for. I'm on. Literally. What's your number one? At you, Taco Bell? Have a... you will die. I, yes, I used to one. enjoy the Mexi melts quite a bit, but they got rid of those. They got rid of fucking everything recently, man. Yeah. You got rid of the pizza. They got rid of fucking the little potatoes. They got rid of everything. They're just like, fuck yeah. it. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess, you know, just go with the original, I guess, Soft Taco Supreme or Crunchy Taco. Either, either one doesn't matter. I'm Simple to the guy. point and good. I'm a soft taco guy. Anywhere I go. go ahead and soft I'm on. If you had to have one of us make you a taco, who would it be? Oh my goodness! Reminder: I'm actually, I'm, I actually manage a restaurant. So I okay. Well, Alex. Yeah, I, I'd say Alex. Even though I'd be scared, he'd probably eat them before they ever get to me. But still, I'll go with Alex. Wow! Call me <laughs> fat so he's no, just gonna I'm bring you the, the wrap, like the no, the, no. the no. taco paper. <laughs> Here you go, Bob. No, no. <laughs> Can you throw this out for me? <laughs> I'm saying because that's what I would do. Because if I were making them, they would be so good. I, you know, by the time they get to or Alex, they'd be done. They'd just be eating the wrappers. Or looking at them, I guess. Okay. Okay. Well, I bake my own chicken regularly, meal prepping for for weeks. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, I'll, I'll I'll actually go with Spencer because honestly, as a manager for a restaurant, I hate cooking <laughs> because I cook for, as a living. For a living. Yeah, he sets you up, Amon. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't like cooking. <laughs> I do it for my job. <laughs> and Amon, if if you want to make if we want to do even better, we do a quesadilla because I make them with Oaxaca cheese. Okay. I think that's you know what? Say. I don't know for sure, but I think that's. Oh, it. I well, I don't know either, but I'll just I'll take your word for it because I surely don't know. But I'll tell you what, I think the correct answer here is Teddy because I've at least seen him cook on his channel. Where you guys, you guys are just saying, you know, I don't know. You guys but just I, talk a big oh, game. Oh, <laughs> oh, metal cheese. It. See, I don't think you'd want to bite down into metal cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Metal cheeses is a good is a good you know alternative, but I'd still have to go with the. Uh, Ted's overall... gonna make you good good like what noodles and yeah. and sushi <laughs> thing. It'll make you udon taco. Teddy, he has to make a video of him making Mexican food. <laughs> okay, right. is that but I mean you appropriation. your party i was like this is a this is an rpg full on through with the story with yeah, like the good. replicants yeah i liked it except we got axel wolf asked a question he says has a video game ever ruined a friendship for you uh i guess in my case it was i can't what the fuck was that i don't know it's, it's a bunch of emojis i can't uh, axel wolf looks look at man i don't uh, speak emoji Use your words. <laughs> Did he put a bunch of egg? Skills. Is there a bunch of eggplants? He might be saying something else. Okay. No, there's like a chicken. <laughs> okay. There's a cancel sign. And then there's like a, a tongue uh, sticking out of a mouth. I can't tell. Whoa, what the fuck maybe, a, maybe a game that ended friends with benefit? Because I'm thinking cock licking canceled. <laughs> 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 much for that oh, friendship <laughs> yeah uh, has a video game ever ruined a friendship for you guys yeah I guess it so looks I'm looking okay. forward to like more boss fights and shit like that 
Yeah. <clears throat> I can definitely see the Breath of the Wild in it, though. I can definitely see the Breath of the Wild. You don't hear my ringtone, do you? I don't think so. No, what is it? Okay. Oh, uh, it's my Alex Jones, um, Bill Gates <laughs> comment. <laughs> Can you do this? He's like, no, you're not going to stick your metal penis in me. You're not going to inject <laughs> your poisonous semen inside of me. But now I know you're saying that I not have no right to be ranked by Bill Gates' metal pecker. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's a really good Alex Jones. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> Could you do a quick Alex Jones review of Immortals Phoenix Rising? Yeah, Just like a really quick one. Can you do the rest of the Immortals as Alex Jones? <laughs> So we got this game sitting on um, uh, ancient Greece, uh, Immortal Phoenix Rising. Um, I don't know if it's just like a tie-in with the Illuminati or the Bilderbergs, any of those kind of organizations, but what you got to do is uh, seek out the ancient gods, um, the globalists of the ancient times. We don't want to deal with the globalists because they want to poison our minds with their propaganda media lies. Um, so what you do is venture out across the lands, and at least you still have the freedom. You have your wings before Big Pharma wants to take away those. Uh, you fly around and hover. You can hover with your wings to collect um, uh, the natural resources. Uh, make sure you go to Infowars.com. We have uh, resources, too. Uh, we have non-FDA uh, poisoned uh, pharmaceuticals and um, uh, organic plant-grown products. Anyways, you go around, you collect resources to try to fight the gods. Um, there's nothing more I have to say, though. I'm pretty early on in the game. <laughs> wow, oh, Alex, you had a very informative review, and you've linked me to a couple very interesting products. <laughs> what would you like to see in the future from this company? They can't take away my weapons! <laughs> <laughs> well done. That was beautiful. Dude, my, some of my favorite moments is that, like, it's not, like, all the time, but, like, every, every once in a while, Jason, you'll, you'll just send me a voice clip. Hey, the button mappers. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Donkey Kong Month, the month of Donkey Stop. Kong. Stop. We're not doing Donkey okay. Kong Month. I'm here with my this DK isn't month. Donkey, this isn't Donkey Kong. Spencer, Stop will it. you do the honors? <laughs> DK. Donkey Kong. He's the craziest <laughs> ape. That ever did song. That's good. I have to add it to you. Um, unfortunately, those type of beautiful lyrics were not present on the console we're talking about today. Special guest SNES Mapper, what console are we talking about? <laughs> hey, guys. Thank you so much for having me here. It's a special episode for me. You know, I have to, you know, talk about the Super Nintendo. You know, it's on my on my ha user handle and, um, you know, I'm very excited and thanks for the invite. Is, is that what that stands for? <laughs> what did you think it was? <laughs> I thought it was super nice, educated student. He did it when he was still a student. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was Super Nintendo, but silly me. Anyways, welcome to the show. Pleasure having you back. Thank you, guys. We are here, in fact, today not talking about Donkey Kong, although some Donkey Kong may come up. We are talking about the Super Nintendo. This is our intellectual discourse all about the console and what we know and love and you can expect from it. Um, Alex, what else might the viewers love? Loving to know that it's not Donkey Kong month. And also, um, if you want to hear me rant about that, join us over in the Discord and I'll tell you why it's not Donkey Kong month. Uh, also, um, we are on uh, Apple Podcast and Spotify. Thank you. Where it's also not Donkey Kong month. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay, cool. So with these console discourses. You know, for that series, because it means so much to me and that, you know, would lead me to become a big Rareware fan, you know, and, you know, I still have my Mario World. I still have my Link to the Past, you know, like those games made such a big impact, you know. God, I love Donkey Kong month. <laughs> what a special it's not donkey kong month <laughs> speaking of donkey kong what do you guys think are the best games on the super nintendo I go fight me <laughs> i just said it what do you want me to go oh just like give your best kirby I... impression i don't know it's kirby 
That's Smash Brothers. That, wait, that's Kirby! <laughs> I heard that song on the N64. Because it's fucking Kirby, that's why. <laughs> they played that on the Dreamland stage? <laughs> From Kirby. I don't know what you're talking about. I see Bruno, you got any uh, standout music? The, the first one, I already said it. You know, it's my favorite game out of the trilogy. Unpopular opinion. I think a lot of people... I think the second one is, I think objectively better you know better graphics you know better ideas but uh dk is my favorite character you know gotta stick with the og so who would win in a fight <laughs> donkey kong or king k rule i mean we've we've seen this happen uh, <laughs> many times so Do you have a better right. matchup how about what was, was a killer instinct character <laughs> what is it Donkey Full Kong Gore? or somebody yeah, from yeah. Killer Instinct? Yeah, Full, Full Gore? DK versus Full Gore? <laughs> All right, give us the rundown, Bruno. Man, uh, I'm going to go with DK, you know, just the, the nostalgic. Wow, fight. versus he, Full Gore? Even though Full Gore is my favorite uh, fighter in KI, you know, Killer Instinct. So, um, yeah, just got to go with the uh, nostalgia. <laughs> the Donkey Kong month continues. It's not time. Donkey Kong Month. In Donkey Kong. It's versus not Donkey Kong Month. Maldor? We didn't start Donkey Kong Month. We're not ending in Donkey Kong Month. Maldor. It's not Donkey Kong Month. <laughs> Caldor. So get your bananas. Because we're coming for you. We're like Gwen Stefani. This shit is bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I started it. recording. I don't know about you. Oh, guys. did you? <laughs> oh my god, where are we? Sounds I'll start loud. recording as well. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super glad I started recording. This is quality content, as they call it. Yeah. Alex is Oops. drinking a Fanta. I'm this, is a, this is fucking LaCroix. This is not a Fanta. This is LaCroix. Fucking... <laughs> Anti sugar Fanta, aka it's, it's, La Croix. It's fucking sparkling water. <laughs> Alex is sparkling. As usual. It's pretty good though. It's it's watermelon flavored. I like it. You're watermelon flavored. Okay. Well f- so for this Thanks. one we're doing we're doing DK one versus DK two, right? Yeah. Who's yes. who's uh, in charge of this? DK. Donkey Kong. Well, leave D- Donkey Kong in charge? <laughs> oh, I thought you were doing Ghostbusters. I thought you were doing. I ain't afraid of no Kong. Keep it down. I... <laughs> Do a fucking podcast. Bless you. Well, can we, can we, can we, um, can we leave this in the intro? We're going to change this to respecting <laughs> women month. Spencer, he said, thank, what would he you said, like to he, say? He said, bless you. Yeah, he said, bless you. We're going to change else, this. What else am I supposed to say? To Christian Christmas. pastor month. Christian pastor. <laughs> can you talk to us about blessings? Dude, yeah. can we do Bible month? <laughs> Oh my god, there's isn't there like that NES Bible game? We Bible totally play? Yeah, well, there's, there's a few different, yeah, yeah, there's a few different uh, religious games. I could do Super Noah's Ark, which is a Doom clone. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Okay, SMT's last Bible, I think. something like that. There's, yeah, there's we do the NES Bible, game. Bible kind of fits to any of those. The Bible game on PS2 and Xbox, which was like a party game based on the Bible. That's how most of my parties revolve around the Bible. The Bible game. I dedicate that's all why, my that's Sundays. That's why nobody comes. Yeah. <laughs> to Bible study games. <laughs> and according to ten uh, four, Ephraim herded the sheep. <laughs> are, are we ready to start? It says, "Let's get this party started." Ephraim four three. <laughs> 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 Coincidentally, the aspect ratio of my PlayStation 1. 
Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Alex? Super Nintendo Month. Yeah, because we oh, did a Super Nintendo video, and you're that's right. That's related to everything else for the month, except for the game. Talking. You're absolutely right. We are talking about two games on the Super Nintendo. They are Donkey Kong Country 1 and Donkey Kong Country 2, a.k.a. Donkey Kong Month. What's good, DK? Donkey <laughs> Kong. <laughs> Don't get You know what? Month. Fuck it. It's Donkey Kong Month 3, okay? Ah, there we go. <laughs> That's what we were waiting for. You broke him over. <laughs> Guys, it's a little versus match today. Versus. Versus. Fight. In this corner, we have Donkey <laughs> from it's Donkey the, Kong Country. I was what? like trying to think of like what Donkey says in Shrek. It's like, it's like what does Donkey say? Eddie, Eddie, Eddie Murphy? Uh, I don't know. Damn Shrek, you ate my potatoes. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> Damn Shrek, you ate my potatoes. <laughs> I don't fucking know. What's the last time you Okay, you sound rather weird today. <laughs> uh, yeah, Donkey Kong Country 1 featuring Donkey and um, Diddy. Did okay, I? Did I? Yeah. Did I forget? No. And then in this corner, we have... <laughs> They're both safe bets. You can argue yeah. either one. Yeah. They're both classics. <laughs> Definitely. If you haven't play played either of them, you should play both of them. No, <laughs> yeah, they won't take you long to get there either. So, If you haven't played one, you should play two. Donkey Kong Country 2. If you know what I mean. Salesman Teddy's here to tell you the tale of Donkey Kong and how he fell into the Super Nintendo. Now, this is a story all about how this Donkey Kong got wrapped up how. I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there, tell you how K. Rule farts air. <laughs> I grew up in a pirate ship looking out my window, and I saw balloons. They were like, hey, yo, I need some extra lives. So I rolled with my homegirl, Dixie Kong. <laughs> I saw that I was rolling out of the trees and I went to the ship and I was like, bitch, please. I saw a bunch of these bumblebees. <laughs> That's fucking stupid. <laughs> But and the bees run was right around the corner too. <laughs> I was like, he's gonna mention bees. And he took a quick I wanted laugh. to do bubble bees, but I did bitch please. I thought it would work. <laughs> 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 uh, that was fantastic. It <laughs> 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 almost sounds like country music. Uh, yeah, it's like the it's like the map theme from one. What is the country <laughs> version of country? If you had to make it a country song, I don't even know. I don't listen to country music at all. Spencer, Same. that's your cue. Well, I don't <laughs> listen to country music. What do you think it would sound like if it was? Sing us some, sing us some Garth Brooks. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't, I don't listen to country. I couldn't tell yeah, you. I don't. There's three of us. Uh, <laughs> Why would you assume that I listen to country? <laughs> You're the closest to the country. I don't know. What? <laughs> You're the closest the to the wild, man. to the wild Alex west. In Kentucky. <laughs> You're you're the closest to Texas. So I'm gonna give it to and yeah. New Mexico. But Am I? I guess. You're closest. To, you're closest to the gold rush. Yeah. To so the gold rush of California. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what what does the country music sound like in the gold rush, California? There ain't no gold in these mines. No gold for us to ever find. We're gonna go broke. Ah. We're gonna be poor. Yeah. Let's start walking out the door. Woo! <laughs> no classic. That's terrible. <laughs> You try. <laughs> you asked for a country song. I, that's the best <laughs> I can do. 
Sorry I didn't have bitch please in it. That wouldn't be country appropriate. <laughs> you you could have put bitch please in it. <laughs> and I'll say it, bitch, it's getting please. real cold. I'm gonna freeze. I gotta get out of here, bitch please. There you go. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's all it needed. All right. Well, I hope that was all you guys needed. Thank you. Finish this game of League of Legends. Oh, no, no, no. I will quit. What a horrible what? teammate. <laughs> Screw it. It's just League. What a oh, yeah. terrible teammate. My ranking can, can uh, you know, handle it. I should be okay. I should be all right. I should survive this. I'm still a level 74 uh, brass paladin. <laughs> brass paladin. Brass paladin. That funky paladin. That's the League of like Beasties. The League of Beasties. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they have besties? Well, you're my beastie. <laughs> I'm sure there's some equivalency. Sounds, sounds oddly sexual. I don't like it. <laughs> you're, not, you're not into the sex thing? <laughs> <laughs> you're not into the sex? <laughs> you don't like the sex? Ah, I quit the show, guys. See you later. <laughs>
Just like we're crowning out the conversations over on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't forget to donate to our Patreon <laughs> so that we can have more kids. <laughs> I can only make this kind of kind of content once. So I need to make as many kids as possible. <laughs> They have to do one for every Donkey Kong game that ever came out. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna hate when I do Congo. They gotta get the bongos up there. <laughs> it's gonna be uncomfortable. <laughs> it's gonna be terrible. <laughs> what that game had bongos? I played with a controller. <laughs> <laughs> I played. <laughs> I I played with a memory card. <laughs> I played on uh, on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey Kong Country two came out 1995 that's a year after the first game guys wowza can you believe that that's nuts fucking nuts i was told by a famous anime character once to believe it so i do speaking of anime spencer do you want to read the plot summary for donkey kong country 2 sure i can do that um all right Sometime after the events of Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong is relaxing at a beach, sitting on a Uh, chair while drinking a banana milkshake. (laughs) Funky Kong is busy surfing waves among the seagulls. Whoa! Cranky Kong walks up to Donkey Kong and hits him on the head with his cane. (laughs) Cranky asks Donkey Kong why he is sitting around if he's a big star. Why are you sitting around if you're a big star? Donkey Kong replies that even stars need time off. Even stars need time off. <laughs> Cranky says that he never took breaks. I never off, took breaks. Whisking off maidens and throwing barrels seven days a week. I fuck sluts and threw barrels all the time. Donkey Kong asks Cranky to leave him alone and stop pestering him. So leave Cranky me alone, leaves. Dad. You don't understand me. Donkey oh, Kong then get the no- fuck out of here. Yep. Donkey Kong then goes to sleep in his chair. At night, Diddy Kong and his girlfriend, Dixie... Oh, you know what? I never noticed that they were girlfriend and boyfriend. Whoa. I thought they were all related. Anyway, well, they have the same last name, so... I'm, maybe, maybe, they are, maybe they are. Listen, I don't judge, but I am judging. Okay. This is some deep south right here. At <laughs> night, Diddy Kong and his girlfriend, Dixie Kong, are worried because Donkey Kong has not returned. He said he joined us for the threesome. Where is he? Where is he? Three, incestuous threesome. <laughs> they go to the beach to investigate, and the Kongs, it even says the Kongs, okay, holy shit, find many footprints surrounding Donkey Kong's broken chair. They wow. find a note in the chair which reads, Ha R. No, 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 no. You got to do it in the voice. Oh, can you do that? This is a quote. No, you're doing it. I'm doing everything else. else. No, you gotta do it. I'm reading the fucking story. Do a no. Do a. You're doing everything. Do a. Do a K rule voice. We have got the big monkey. If you want him back, you scurvy dogs, you'll have to hand over the banana horde. My name. Captain K rule. Captain K rule. You know, it's funny because this is actually based in uh, the mythology of Captain Kidd's Gardener's Island when uh, he kidnapped one of um, the, you know, natives and actually held him up for ransom. Oh, okay. Captain Kidd! (laughs) You guys want to know about Captain Kidd and Gardener's Island? (laughs) Don't start this, please. (laughs) (laughs) Don't lead us down this road. Hang on. We're gonna have to go Wikipedia that. Cranky suggests handing over the banana horde to K. Rule. Diddy refuses because of how much effort he and Donkey Kong went through to retrieve the bananas, and that he would be very upset if his bananas were stolen again. We worked so hard with these fucking bananas, man. That's Diddy. Cranky asks if they have any better suggestions, and Diddy and Dixie both say. That they We're going to fucking kill him! We're going to get Donkey Kong back! Okay, sorry. That they want to rescue Donkey Kong themselves. Oh, okay. That's the two funny. get in a brief argument with Cranky, who does not believe Diddy qualifies as a video game hero. Mm. Thus, oh, not a oh, real gamer. Fuck you, Diddy! Fuck thus, you, Diddy Kong! <laughs> thus, it's up to Diddy to save his uncle alongside well, uh, what? Dixie. What? his uncle? Who insisted on joining him, starts his journey. The gaming uncle confirmed. 
alongside Dixie, his sister. Or it's up to, I don't know. <laughs> That's clearly his sister. <laughs> Are the correct? Well, they're all named Kong. So is is it just like the 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 race? I don't like. Have how you does ever that been work? Been to Korea? I don't know. I'm just. It says the Kongs like, find many uh, footprints. Uh, uh, everyone. Well, half of Koreans have the last name Kim. So I mean, it's like you know. Yeah, but you Korea wouldn't say Kong connection. You would. You wouldn't say if. If two people that had the, both had the last name of Kim but weren't related, yeah. you wouldn't say the Kims. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> I just you just wouldn't because when you say that, it implies they're all one family. We are one. We are, we are one. We are Join one. the Kongs. We are <laughs> one. We are one unit, one entity. You let not the rules take Kongs over. Are- Kongs are forever. <laughs> Kongs are always. So this leads me to a weird dilemma because I wish that there was a scene where they like kissed each other or showed any kind of affection that would make them boyfriend and girlfriend. Why but the also, fuck a... would you want Diddy to kiss his uncle? You sick fuck. No, oh, Diddy. sorry, oh, sorry. You meant with Dixie. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a harmless peck, Alex. It's peck on the cheeks. You never had an uncle before. <laughs> you know, Teddy, Teddy, if your fire. uncle if your uncle is kissing you, you need to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> it's like, come here, Sonny, give me a peck on the cheek. Give your uncle a good <laughs> kid. Come on. It's like we always did. Captain uh, Kid. Right after we, we we wrestle in the backyard. No, I would have liked Diddy to actually show some affection to Dixie, but also it's a catch twenty two because as a child I would have been mortified seeing that because I swore that they were brother and sister. Mm. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah. There's your story. Thank you. I mean, any any further reading would be spoilers for the rest of the game. Yeah, I, I, I see that. Uh, so I guess with that said, we'll jump right into the first area. Is PlayStation <laughs> Two? Oh, I thought I heard Nintendo Saturn for 64. <laughs> what did you say about sixty-four? No, I said it's PlayStation as, Two. He said it's not as cool as a Sega Saturn. That's what he said. Wait, Sega Saturn? You mean isn't that like one of the worst consoles that was ever released? <laughs> On that note, hi Chris, what's up, Bio Phoenix? Hey, what's good, everyone? <laughs> the Blind Phoenix man. rises in the call and in the chat. Uh, let that? Me I hear the distance. <laughs> we brought Bio Phoenix on the uh, PlayStation Two aficionado. He knows probably more games for the system than all of us combined, and uh, we probably won't put that to the test today. But uh, <laughs> we could definitely test you somewhere. Where's that, Alex? On uh, Apple Podcasts and Spotify, and if, if hit up the Discord where Chris is going to list every single game created for the PS2. <laughs> okay, so first it starts off with uh, with uh, Big Mother Truckers. <laughs> and then after that, it's, oh, uh, I was just thinking Bob about Big Mother Bottle. Truckers. <laughs> oh wow, really? That's yeah. Great. <laughs> Bubble Bobble, the the best box art award for sure. Oh yeah, you can't forget about that one. Mm-hmm. And uh, okay, I'm, anyway, fuck that. <laughs> we, we ain't gonna do that because we'd be here like all day. <laughs> for sure, we'll save that for another episode. In the meantime, you know how game talk works. It starts with the questions. We do a little Q and A segment. At the- Rewind like ten seconds. You can watch your thing play backwards. Right, That's right, annoying. But, but but theoretically, a save state is a rewind feature. Because you can save it where you want it and then just with a click of a button go back to that and be like, oh, I should have jumped a little higher on this one. And then um, yeah. I, think, I think if you save it all, you're not a true gamer. Oh, true. shit. Yeah, <laughs> controversial opinion time. All Gotta games are mystery go. dungeons. Gotta play it in one go. Hot take. <laughs> no saves. <laughs> Hot oh, take you want to beat uh, Persona 5 in one sitting? Well, uh, one yeah. Sa- no. I mean, just, just leave your console go. No saves. <laughs> I think yeah. I did beat Persona 5 Pauses. maybe in one sitting. Or one, one quote, 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 sitting. And you just, with now, now the games are on rest, like, forever. Yeah. No, 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 no rest. No, no, no rest. No, <laughs> no rest. <laughs> We're going to keep it on to the chair. <laughs> you, can't, you can't go to the bathroom. <laughs> you can't get something to eat. Yeah. <laughs> if you got to pee, you piss yourself. That's how this goes. Are you <laughs> so a true that's what the pee in persona means. <laughs> Pretty much. 
I don't get Persona, it, extra whatever. Pain. If you want to save state, whatever, save state. I mean, I've, I've used... All right, Big T. All right, Alex Kid. Community discourse for June. I got it. All right, talk to you guys later. It was the year 2000, I got to say. One might call it the gaming heyday. Nintendo and Sony were locked in a battle. It was one or the other, hop in the saddle. Sega was a thing, if only a little. Too bad Sonic was old and brittle. But all that jazz was about to change. The console wars were now in range. came Sony with the PS2. The console was black and the logo was blue. It started out slow, but it picked up fast. This library was sure to last. It had good graphics and it played DVDs. It could go online if you could pay the fees. Jack, Sly, GTA, top tier games that we love to play. Some new consoles came on the scene. The first to show up was the black and green. Microsoft made it, they called it Xbox. I think we can agree that it really rocks. It launched with Halo and FPS. Master Chief is one of the best. Of all the three, it had the best online. The Duke was bad, but the rest was fine. Next came an Indigo gaming machine. It came from Nintendo and it made some green. They called it the GameCube and it wasn't bad. In fact, with Melee it was pretty rad. There were lots of classics coming out this time. Mario, Zelda, and Metroid Prime. The controller was cool and the games were fun. It had something for everyone. The great console war was waged, a three-way fight on the grandest stage. Which was better, the blue, the green, or the indigo? This will not be clean. Make a response, you can pick only one. Make it clever, have some fun. Keep it clean, don't make a mess. And also short, three minutes or less. I'm not an astronaut. Wait, I think it is. I know you're, Saturn is. You're an astro boy. <laughs> astro man. <laughs> <laughs> astro man. <laughs> well, speaking of Mans. Uh, men, Mans. yeah, check out the Discord for more male uh, <laughs> interference. Also, check out Spotify and Apple Podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of men, our Discord is filled with men. Yeah. You should go there. Sausage party. <laughs> if you want men, you can come to the right place. <laughs> <laughs> the, our, the button mappers Discord now a hundred percent men. Button mappers <laughs> to button members. Nine out of ten men agree. <laughs> and uh, if you like this video, <laughs> at this point I don't know why you would, but if, if you somehow <laughs> like this video. <laughs> Click the uh, select the like button, wrap wrap in our comment section, and uh, make sure to vote for the subscribe button. I don't know how you do that, but click it. That's it's how you of, vote for it. All of your man hand, your man hand like <laughs> fingers. Yeah. yeah. Guys, are you yeah. ready to jump into this community discourse? Speaking well, of perfection, yeah. Spencer, you've perfected the art of rap. 
I did. Well, how did you tell us about this? No, don't do it. Where don't did it all begin? Leave the secret. I want to. I don't want to know. Well, it started in Compton, where most rap starts. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, polished it up down here in the old Phoenix, Arizona. We're where all rap dies. Uh, <laughs> wow. Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> Rap goes to die. Brutal. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess rap is dead. But um, yeah, check it out. It's a, a, a love love letter from me to the rap game, and to all of you button mapper enthusiasts. Well, in my words, it was a classic. <laughs> gonna make my about consoles. I don't like it because it makes my job harder next time. So we have a little resentment yeah. and uh, a little excitement. Yeah. yeah. So Alex will be singing a full orchestral country song about the uh, Xbox 360. The Xbox 360. I love it more than my dog. <laughs> <laughs> and then one day I had to put it down. Because you got her. And drive away I, on my hog. <laughs> Dude, and dude, I want to, I want to make a really sad country <laughs> Ooh, song about yeah. the Red Ring of Death. That'd be amazing. <laughs> I Do really want to play Halo Three <laughs> and drink my Mountain <laughs> Dew. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly, that's when the Red Ring's treating you. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Red Ring of Death. <laughs> Red uh, old ring death. <laughs> makes me sting. <laughs> Don't tempt me. I, I will actually write a country song next time. Well, good luck. Vote in the comments Don't below. Vote. For PS2. Alex? PS2. It's like P- did, it's like, did you it's play like, only yeah. PS2 this week? I, none of us did it. Let's, <laughs> let's be honest. I put my switch on for five minutes. Spencer, did you set up your PS2? Sure didn't. <laughs> Teddy, how about you? Oh, that's funny you should ask. I really tried to play my PS2. No. <laughs> I mean, listen, you know, last time we tried this and, and we none of us did it fully. So this time it was kind of a loose thing. It was like, as long as you play a little bit of PS2 each day, it's, it counts. Yeah. It matters. It Number matters. one PS2 fans right here. Nothing but PS2 except Switch, Xbox, and uh, Lego Leagues. Le- Lego Legends. <laughs> Let's try to do the GOG with the Lego Legends. <laughs> Lego Leagues! <laughs> Lego Leagues! <laughs> League yeah, leagues. I've, I've been playing Shin Megami Tensei 4 on my 3DS. I'm not, I'm not talking about that today, but I'm just saying. So how do you feel about Shin Megami Tensei 4 on the 3DS? Okay, moving on. PS2 week. Uh, the <laughs> way to start this is, uh, what, what did, talk to us about your experience um, playing the PS2. What games did you play? I hate the characters. I hate the gameplay. It's just... All, I hate the music. It's like a bunch of K-pop crap. How the fuck do you hate the music, dude? I hate pop. I hate that stupid poppy Just music. Just the intro is K-pop, but then like the rest of the game is classic fucking Final Fantasy music. Mm, no, and, D- and a bunch of Disney music. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Dis- yeah. That, that's that's yeah. a given because it is. But but the 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 original arranged music for that you know, series is fucking phenomenal. I didn't like it. I, I hated every every aspect of that game. I think it's stupid. Do you know I'd walk a thousand miles, miles if I could save Goofy tonight? I love Kingdom Hearts music. <laughs> I got a keyblade. <laughs> I'm going to whack you. <laughs> In the that's, forehead. <laughs> that's the crossover right there. Dawson's Creek X Kingdom Hearts. Hmm. Is that even Dawson's Creek? <laughs> that's, is that even the Dawson's comments Creek? Below. Is that Dawson's <laughs> Creek? Teddy, you always say that's Dawson's Creek. I don't think that's Dawson's Creek. I'm going to find it through Dawson's Creek. And by golly, when I do, I'm gonna rewatch Dawson's count. Creek. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna okay. Join us next week for the Dawson's Creek series review. 
we where we will be reviewing episodes one through ten in season one. Does Dawson have a creek? Is there shit up it? <laughs> Find out next time. Do shit in the creek. <laughs> in Dawson's Creek narrative analysis. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> My ice cream truck. <laughs> Blah, ice cream truck. Remember that? Remember that classic moment. Damn, Daniel. Damn, back Daniel. <laughs> back at it again. What's up, man? Welcome back to the Button Mappers. Thank you for having me. Great to be back on. Nice to see you guys again. Absolutely. I'm expecting nothing less than essay-worthy content today from the essayist himself. Oh, only the best, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> also, welcome, Spencer. Spencer, welcome back. Thank you. Well, <laughs> they, you know, they, they had their own thing going, so I figured uh, you and I could start a thing here. So. Okay. <laughs> Alex, like two conversations it's been a while, um, but uh, I'm excited for the game today. I think we've got, we got a really good show, and I'm glad to be back. Good. I'm glad to be back too, Spencer. It's good. I'm, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you guys are getting along. Uh, as for me, hi, I'm Teddy. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, so, hey guys, today we're. That occasion. Mm. Hey, since, since we have the expert on espresso here, what's the, what's the best coffee to play with Shadow of the Colossus? It's got to be a dark roast of some kind. Yeah, yeah. what um, what pairs well with Shadow of the Crosses? <laughs> it's it's. I guess it's got to have some sort of like raspberry flavoring to get like the just a bit because of the the red frills that he's got. So I was thinking. Like I don't know. Ethiopian. Coffee and raspberry kind of tastes nasty though, so I wouldn't recommend it. But if we yeah. got we got stay we got if you got to commit to the bit. <laughs> <laughs> then coffee and raspberry. Oh no. <laughs> What, what have you done? <laughs> I'm so crushed. <laughs> you asked for this. I know. Like a, like a Sumatra. It's, 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 it's that you gotta go fast. You gotta do it in one gulp. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. That's shady. Uh, all right. I cleared it that way. So that's my experience. I love that the only game that you completed was Katamari Damacy. <laughs> it was worth Damacy, it. Whatever. Hey, that's, hey, that's a great game. <laughs> that's, that's phenomenal. Dude, the music for Katamari Damacy automatically makes it 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> this is how Spencer is in the shower. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What? what? Spencer in the shower? What? Let's move on. So, oh, yeah. going to the. <laughs> Yeah, aggro. Aro. I, I thought you said Aro, Aro throughout the whole thing. Maybe it's just my hearing or whatever. But Aggro is the main character of the game. I'll tell you what. The internet confirms. I, I, it's aggro. aggro for Smash. Aggro the horse, who is a she, by the way. Oh, is it? It's a female horse. Yeah. That's. Well, I've been correct. I I, I I know I know too much about this game. <laughs> I didn't check the I didn't check the genitalia. So. Yeah. <laughs> My camera angles were. <laughs> I was trying. Hey, I was playing the PS2 version, so you know, <laughs> I get a good look at that. I uh, I I don't know that because I look too hard. I know that because. The, 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 the... <laughs> okay, good. 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 I, was, I was I wasn't like wearing them horse nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't wearing them horse nuts though. Uh, it, I think the the creator confirmed in an interview. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know. Got it. Still the main character of the game. Yes. Female, strong female protagonist? Yeah. Strongest female protagonist, aggro. <laughs> Confirmed. I mean, can put up with, like, literally anything. Can put up with me mashing the aggro button 50 times while I'm just walking around. <laughs> aggro! Aggro! I wish at some point if I hit that button enough, the horse would just trample me. <laughs> because it's just like, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> But you know, like I think it's interesting because Wander just needs to say her name and she comes. So that already infers a lot about the relationship between the two. 
that shows that they already have a deep bond because it, this can't be just some random horse that Wander picked up. You know, like this is a horse that's been with him through thick and thin. It's a true mm. love story. You know, that's man the, and his horse. The real love story of the game is Wander and Agro. That's right. No, that's some Kentucky shit. Where you, you guys played the whole game. Uh, iPod. <laughs> You're allowing us to? I, I wasn't going to do it because you said I couldn't. <laughs> you're talking like hanging your, all your fucking earbuds in. <laughs> What's his name? The fan, the button mapper fan name. It's Biofanx. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I was gonna call him Hitchcock. Oh, we could. Yeah, that he works. Ride on that cock. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we got a horse fetish. We got I, a bird cock fetish. is a bird. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's I, thought, a, I thought Alex was about the fetishes. Did you know that the Shadow's Lost is a love story between a man and his horse? <laughs> and bird. And the animals. It's a game about bestiality. Oh, God. <laughs> Moving on. All right. It's Minotaur B. Take us to Barbara. Bar- Barbara. <laughs> AKA. This one doesn't even need a name. Fans call it Barbara, but I like Barbara a lot more. Yeah. Is yeah. the sixth Colossus. This bearded giant is found in a remote temple. This is the one where I have the cool thing. Like, he was trying to fling me off, and I flew over his back and then grabbed onto his back. Oh, shit. Mm, interesting. Pretty wild. Did you, like, grab his beard and he flung, like, flung you, or what? what I don't think I was on his beard, but I'll have to relook at the footage. It'll be on the... on the. You'll be seeing it now. So. This guy's a straight headbanger. Like, you get you grab... Whoa, look at that! Head. I'm sorry. I was reacting to the footage, and I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> It's in, in post. <laughs> he was only crawling down the wall at this point, but okay. <laughs> yeah, and so in this one, uh, you're in like a weird. You're in you're in an indoor like arena, I guess, indoor town or something. You, we don't know. Like we're just yeah, a guess. ruin, a temple, or something. And uh, he charges through and breaks shit, and you have to jump onto his beard and climb onto it's him. Like biscuit. Him. It's like a limp biscuit breaks stuff. So kind of is an it? interesting tidbit about this boss is that originally it actually had a club. And I'm not totally sure why it was removed, but at some point during development they were like, nah, 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 yeah, no club for this guy. So it never made it in, not even to the original. It didn't make uh, it to the club. <laughs> no, it didn't make it to the club. Um, it was it was revealed, because like, people have been data mining this game for so many years. Um, and recently there was like an earlier build that leaked that people uh, found and in it. Uh, this this was like a few months before release, like four or five months before release, something like that. So still far into development, but, you know, early enough where there there's going to be notable changes. And it had a club and nobody knew about this until pretty recently. This is it? another one with beautiful cinematography. What did you say, Alex? I, I was going to ask, why was it removed, you know? Like, I, I don't know. Maybe they just thought it was unfair. Because, like, hmm. when you start the fight, you're running away from him and you're trying to get to the other side. So I guess maybe the club gave it too much range. Oh, and he was able to, that makes yeah. sense. The fists That's are big, why. too. I mean, this thing hits you. Like, I, I got hit a couple times. It, this is, like, I, I was saying it's really cinematic. First off, you have to crawl your way down. It's like another one, like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to see what's going on. <laughs> and so you get down there, and then you're enclosed in a little area with, like, these little uh, gates. And he comes out chasing you. He's got a good range. He can, you know, he's got good accuracy. He can really hit you. Um, yeah. And yeah. you have to ha- lead him to the walls, and he will crash the walls, like the little gates. And um, then you can, can progress your way. Yeah. Hey, you know, um, without his club, he's kind of tough. So that's probably that is definitely yeah, that's, yeah, yeah that's probably why. It's probably why. So what you end up doing is you have to crawl under this little temple area, Temple of Time, Zelda crossover. Yes, you. You mean yes? <laughs> and uh, so when you're under there, he'll he'll go peek in. Can you do a little impression for us, Alex? God, it's, it seems like I do this on every fucking show, but <laughs> to the viewers at home, Alex is doing a little peek in thing, so it looks like he's looking under something. You can't, I'm just doing what I was asked. You can't, Spencer, damn it. Well, I know. I, I, you can't see it because oh, boy, me. we've got footage going. We don't use this footage, but Alex, or, or Teddy did request that, so Alex did do it. 
What's going on with my friend Teddy? It's awesome. I appreciate it, Alex. <laughs> we all have our thing. <laughs> we all have our fetish. No judgments. I, <laughs> impression fetish. Teddy, you know? Teddy has a looking a... under things fetish. Impression <laughs> fetish. So uh, he peeps down, and then you grab him by the what? The beard. 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 Not the horse nuts. The beard. Better than horse nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got a Daniel. I can't impression. see that Daniel just, <laughs> uh, <laughs> just stroke. I would, assumedly, I would, horse nuts. I would love if there was a Colossus where you just like grab onto his nuts, just, like, <laughs> climb up his nuts. <laughs> Shadow of the Colossus too. <laughs> horse <laughs> nuts. <laughs> These nuts. <laughs> Genitalia edition. Uh, but yeah, this, this it turns into the basic thing after you've grabbed onto his beard. It's it's your pretty pretty much run of the mill tall guy colossus thing. It always stands out to me that the doorman starts off with the translation, thy next foe is and then it'll say like a thorn brush in the, the <laughs> in like the, the woods or something. And it, it's not the enemy. It's always like some verse of poetry. So yeah. a little syntax error. <laughs> What do you want him to say? Yo, go get the fucking lizard. Yeah. I mean, if he wants me get to take the down the lizard, lizard bro. if he wants me to kill a lizard, get, tell me to kill the lizard. You, thy <laughs> next foe is Gex, the lizard, bro. Yes. <laughs> when I get an assignment at work, it's not like uh, between the trees, <laughs> there will be a whistle. <laughs> when, and when they come out with Shadow of the Colossus 2, then you have to fight Gex to enter the gecko. <laughs> mm. Separates the men from the boys. Yes. Gex 64. Enter the Gexus. <laughs> like, get it like Nexus. Hmm. But Gex. Gex <laughs> revelations. Gexes. Whoa. We're having revelations here. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. That's, uh, that's halfway through the Colossi. Whoa. Point, like, to take our intermission and uh, invite you to take a bathroom break. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, Maybe, uh, get some popcorn. I'll do that. Thanks. I'll okay. be right back then. <laughs> okay. Daniel is Daniel's getting up from gone. the chair. We lost <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> I think he actually went to the He actually went to the This bathroom. is our first guest walking up out of the show. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, Alex Maybe. specifically told him we're doing that. Even though we never do that. <laughs> this is amazing. This is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, you're right. This is my fault. I'll take credit for this. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if credit's the right word. <laughs> Blame is, what I think, the one you're looking for. You're welcome. Well. Um, <laughs> In the meantime, the it's hot. Yeah, it is hot. Yeah. You know, I is live in Arizona, Arizona hot? right? Uh, yeah, well, no. you're, a, well, you're, you're a nomad. What's We're, it like out there? We're breaking fucking records. We have an excessive heat warning right now. Um, right now, it is 111 degrees. It's expected to... We have a high of 115. Jesus. Come Dude, at you're going to be like... When you come to Tennessee next month, you're going to be like, holy shit, this is nice. I will. going to be on some fucking mountains and shit. <laughs> we have mountains. <laughs> Do you? No, those, are, those are called dunes. Yeah, we, have, we have sand dunes. What? <laughs> Speaking of sand dunes, well, we'll get there. I just imagine you like you like walk out of your house, Spencer, and you're just like it's like you're like you're in the middle of like the the like the Sahara Desert or something. It's That's like, what you assume it's like out here. Yeah, you just have to like trek across the dunes. Yeah. To go to, to get to GameStop. Yeah, yeah. The There's like a GameStop oh in a mirage somewhere, dude. It's that fucking scene from a from Uncharted Three. I don't know if you played Uncharted Three, no. but where he's just like walk, like okay, well, you get straight into the desert at one point. That's what that like reminded me of. Where you just like, like almost dying walking through the desert. Like, gotta get the GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. Pre order, pre order Black Ops Four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, we're, sure yeah, we're halfway we're through the next. All the next colossi are pretty epic. Whoa! Hold on they're to your pretty butts. and they're epic. Epic, yeah. just like my favorite YouTube show, Epic Meal Time. 
Welcome to 2008. <laughs> Remember that year? <laughs> Remember that year? <laughs> ah, yes. I can see it all now. The hamburger deluxe. Can I eat 40 Whoppers can I, in can 10 I minutes? Stuff 40 Whoppers into a, a turkey wrapped in bacon and then bacon. Smother it in barbecue sauce. Smothered with bacon. <laughs> yeah. Bacon sauce. What if Daniel just never comes back? What if Daniel just left? Yeah, we, I can hear his car. It's like, <laughs> you can tell he's a big fan of the game. He leaves halfway through. Yeah. Shadow of Daniel. Well, you know what? We can impersonate. So, Daniel, what do you think of uh, the next Dune boss? Well, there's a very interesting theory on how it came into the cave. It actually uh, starts from Fumito Ueda. Hold on, Alex. Daniel, I'm going to have to ask Morgan you to hold on Freeman. because I've got a theory here. Uh, <laughs> I remember playing Shadow Colossus as a young boy. <laughs> <laughs> We've actually replaced Daniel with Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman, talk to us about stage nine. I stabbed the Colossus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that was Colossus 16. Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> we thought we lost you for a bit there. I, well, you said to take a break. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> was that a joke? Yeah, yes. but I like the fact that they actually, it was, it was amazing. Yeah, I was Alex, like, I really he's, he's actually Alex is it. impressed that he told people we're taking a break <laughs> no. and then somebody went up. I, I don't know what Alex yeah. is thinking on this <laughs> We never do that. I really awesome. needed to go, so I was just taking it back. Like, oh, okay, oh, it's break time. Jesus. That's what I do on my podcast. We have a break time. Oh, do you? No, oh, I didn't know. Yeah, I like mean, halfway through. I mean, we'll be... no, no, no. I mean, I listen to all your episodes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we. He just he just decided to tell you that we have a break. I don't know. We've never done that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I. Well, the episode will have a lot of interesting commentary when it airs. Let's just leave it at that. It made my day, dude. It was awesome. <laughs> and then you got to get on its back, and then you have to, like, attack, like, the different parts of it. Like, just such a cool fight. There's so much to it. And running around in, like, the giant desert area, all of it just works so well. It's top-tier fucking Colossus, for sure. If, the, if we had, like, a tier list, we it will. would be S-Rank. We will. Oh, okay. Don't tempt us. One <laughs> thing, um, well, yeah, we can do that live. Uh, so one thing I, I you know, I like the, the riding aggro. Aggro? Aggro. Aggro. And uh, shooting the, the nut sacks. Um, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> but once he comes down, he's, like, he just sticks his wings in the sand and just starts, like, kind of gliding around. I just didn't, like, it, that part kind of broke realism for me. Or reality. The game where a flying snake can fly with his nutsacks, you think that, that part breaks the realism? <laughs> the nutsacks was fine. Just <laughs> wings. He said he was cool with the nutsacks. <laughs> nutsacks, cool. Wings in the sand. I don't like it. Just it, it's like, what is he doing? Is he like Too just far. skating around? He's like, he's like little Hot Wheels segment, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know. And so that, like, I like getting on the back and everything. But then, it's it's very sequential. What I liked about the other Colossi was like it's not like a one two three thing. You're done. It's like you have to bring him down three times. After you attack each sigil, he, he you cannot stay on him. He drops you back down. So this one felt so much more sequenced, whereas the other ones felt a little more open ended for me. Mm -hmm. What are you trying to say about Hot Wheels? I like it. <laughs> I just don't like it in Shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> <laughs> Hey y'all, don't forget to subscribe to them button mappers. 